Shalom, brothers and sisters. So there are some people that are awake, even if they're not believers. Uh, the UK government officials, the awake ones, are now warning that Putin is coming for us. Yeah, I think he said it clearly how many times. He's spoken about the tsunami, underwater Poseidon bombs that they can use to create a tsunami, radioactive one to wipe out the UK. They've threatened to launch missiles directly at them. They've directly told them they'll obliterate them. How many more times do they have to clearly say, we're coming for you? But at least now, some UK officials are warning that he's coming for them. Ex-Defense Secretary Ben Wallace made the declaration in the Telegraph when discussing the future for Britain in the eyes of the war-mad despot, he said. Although Putin has never directly declared war on the UK, he is known to count it as one of his most loathed enemies due to its support for Ukraine. And warning of the potential worrying escalation the Russian leader could have in mind for the UK Wallace claimed the future is not looking good for us. Wallace has got his head screwed on straight. Wallace is correct. The future does not look great for the UK, not for the world right now. So on point, Wallace, well done. Really, some people are starting to realize that this train has left the station. There is no stopping it. There's no reversing it. There's no fixing it. What's going to happen is going to happen. And it's going to happen really, really soon. And all of these events foretold by prophecy and seen and warned of by our Lord Jesus Christ as well. Will come at the end of the age of man. And we are that age of man at the end. Ha'akaron in Hebrew. The final generation. Which is why Jesus tells us. I will be with you. Even unto the end of the age. He's speaking about us. The redeemed living now in this final moment. We are not destined for wrath. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9 to 10. To 10. God did not destine us for wrath. He's coming for his bride. And every time we see all these things happening, the dialogue, the escalations, the threats, the movement of weapons, the development of bigger weapons, the chaos, the pestilences, the rampant evil, the celebration of the devil and pagan gods, the resurgence of Greek mythology and all these things that is happening worldwide, the evidence of the aliens, wonders and signs in the skies, things that are coming in the heavenly stars and things approaching. We know we're in those final seconds. So make it count. Go tell someone about Jesus. Shalom.